Welcome back to another episode of the Stevie Weeby Show. Let's get groovy, man. We have a very special guest tonight. Please welcome illustrator, designer, Sophia Chang. Hello. Thank you. You look like my cousin Sue, I told you, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. So I, I, I thought you were you Korean. You You're should, not Korean. No. You should find a picture of cousin Sue later, though. And that would, be, a, that would be hard to find. Yeah. But have you gotten that? Like people yeah. think you're Korean? Yeah, totally. My parents get it too, but we're not. We should do a DNA test, but no. You're Taiwanese. Mm-hmm. Okay. Have you been out there or what? Oh, dang. Oh, there Already. we go. <laughs> uh, have I been in Taiwan? Yeah, I mean, when I was younger, I've been a few times. So I went as an adult recently, uh-huh. like two years ago. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I'm still very Americanized. I speak Mandarin. You do? Fluently. But so why don't you bust them out real quick? Say hello. Uh, okay, say hi. It's gonna... good to be on the show. Oh shit. Um or um it's nice to be here. Yeah, no. Or hi, hi what's up? Hello. No, no. <laughs> in, the, in the language, in the language. Uh, in the language. In, hi, what's I don't even know if there's a casual way of saying it. Oh, how about hi? Ni hao. Oh, ni hao. Anyang, anyang seo. Oh, dude, that's good. Yeah. Dude, I, I told you, you I grew up with totally, Koreans. You yeah. Grew up I can order in, New York. in Korean. Koreans in New York? Mashisa, pickle Mashisa. Pop? Absolutely. Dude. Because I used to go to my friends' houses and they'll be and their parents would be like, Pickle Pop, Sophia, Pickle Pop. And I'd be like, Absolutely. Oh my god. Yeah. <coughs> so Stevie. You Weeby, could totally I get it. Do you want me to grab your tea for you? Because I Oh I have yours yeah. is over here, isn't sure. it? Sure. There you go. Thanks. Yeah. I just didn't want to keep it close. Yeah, to yeah, no, no, it's good, it's good. <coughs> so you grew up with Koreans, and f- you're from New York. Yeah, Queens, New York, Flushing. All right, dude, represent. Yeah. I'm so are there here. a lot of Asians out there in New York? Yeah, there's a lot. There's a Koreans, lot. Koreans, Chinese, Koreans, Japanese. Mainly Koreans and Chinese. With the, in New York. Yeah, the Asian community. I mean, if you ever have it, people mm-hmm. from like East Coast, West Coast on the show, like mm-hmm. they'll tell you the culture is very different here. Because here they'll have like a fifth generation person, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. their grandmother speak perfect English, and I'm like amazed. Or, uh, you know, just people who don't speak like their language at all because wow. they were never taught. Do yeah, you speak yeah. Korean? You speak better Korean than me. Oh, okay. Like the sh- the stuff you just said, I was like jealous. I was like, damn, she's I can't even sound like that. Did you just Korean? Know- put it this way, yeah. other Koreans. When I speak to them, they know. They go, this yeah, fool. Yeah, yeah. You sound white. Aww. Your Korean's the worst. Did you just not even people in Mongchi like like they've like your. What about David? Does he speak Korean? His his Korean's pretty good. Um, yeah, his Korean's way be- way better than mine. So what's up with New York? I mean, I've been there a few times. How do you how do you last survive during those winter time like the snow? Yeah, well that's the reason why I'm here. We're in October it's, it's October cold now. As yeah. Hell it's out rough. There. Basically, uh the best way to describe it is if it's like if you're just walking outside mm-hmm, in the winter mm-hmm. and you're walking against the wind, it feels like knives slicing just yeah. slicing your face. Have you felt that? And then you have to wait in the if you're waiting for the bus, mm-hmm. so like sometimes you take the train and you take the bus because public transportation is a big thing. Yeah. If you're waiting for the bus, you're you're waiting for the bus. How and many before, layers? How many before layers? Before Google Maps, yeah. you wait for the bus. So what would you rock like? You know, you wear sweatshirt. a lining layer and you wear your insulation layer or layers. Long undies. 
and yes, and then you Turbos. have your Gore Tex or your yeah. uh, you know your wind stopper. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. And then what else? And then what, what? What you finish it off with like North Face, and then like you know you got beanie. your North Face, you got your beanie. You try mm-hmm. to have as little skin showing as mm-hmm. possible because then it's just really cold. But mm-hmm. uh, there's girls who go to parties and they wear you know skirts and heels still in that weather. It's it's crazy. Damn. I know people who are like that. I don't know. So they care long, about how it. How long were you out there? My whole life. Your whole life. I just came out here three years ago. Wow. So this still is trying like, to figure it out. This is like. Luxury, like, yeah. This is me. like okay, so price per Today square was footage. So nice. Price per square footage that you get out here? Yeah. Impossible compared to New York. So it's cheaper here? Hell yeah, it's cheaper here. So what was the rent what's the rent in New York like? What's rent in New York like? For a place like this, a little For studio. For a place little, like this, where though? Little hobbit hole. Say East Village. I don't, I'm, my demographics are... Uh, uh, geography? Uh, yeah, my geography, yeah. Um, okay, if you're living in a super fancy neighborhood the size of this or, or apartment... In Brooklyn. Brooklyn, but there's different parts of Brooklyn now. There's Damn. fancy Brooklyn and there's cheap... And there's, Where's and the Lower there, East Side? And there's Biggie Smalls Brooklyn. Lower East Side. Lower East Side. Where the hell is Morningside? Oh. It's Columbia University. We live there oh. Summer, Ooh, that's... Mm, yeah. That's a that's a, a, a bit of a fancy-ish. Because yeah, of, of the schools. All right, all right. Um, I was going to say... But I want to... The poorest part in New York. I'm looking at all of your spider webs on the wall. (laughs) Steve. Oh, my Lord. (laughs) That's how I roll. I'm a vampire. You know what I mean? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm so sorry. There's cobwebs in here. You know what? You know what I think sometimes? Just say Halloween decor. (laughs) Just say, look. Look, it's tis the season. But you know what I think sometimes? I feel like sometimes, like, you know, have you seen Bruce Willis uh, in Sixth Sense? Yeah. You know, at the end, he he realizes he's dead. He was dead the whole time. Uh Uh-huh. So sometimes I I think, I think this, I feel like, I feel like I'm really, I'm dead. And this is just the next... You know what I mean? I crossed over into this alternate reality, and you, I, this feels and you guys are dead too reality. with me. This is very. This is uh, what's that? What's that? Stranger Things, the other place. Mm. The what's it called? Yeah, what's it called? Upside, upside down. down. Upside, upside down. down. Yeah. We're in Stevie Weeby's upside down. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great place to be. So explain to the viewers what you're seeing: cobwebs everywhere. Co- lots of cobwebs everywhere. Uh, you know, obviously your corners, wherever they can attach themselves. <laughs> and the best part is the ones that are literally like just hanging from the ceiling. Yeah. Like, like vertically. I've never seen spider webs that are just vertical without a spider at the end. <laughs> Dude, you don't have, we're going to edit all this out. People are, people are gonna not like, going to want to no, come maybe, on this show. People are going to be like, um, yeah, I, I need to figure out, I need to inspect, inspect your place <laughs> before I interview here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. So in New York, a place like this would be like five thousand dollars a month or something. Ooh, maybe thirty-five. This is spacious. This? Yeah, for New York, this is spacious. Do you What's, know what? What are apartments There's in New York? There's a family of like ten people that can live in a place like this. Get the hell out of here! I mean, not everyone lives like that, yeah, but I'm just but saying. I'm, but I'm just saying this is considered a very spacious spot in New York. This. Yeah. This would be as close to four thousand well, dollars. I haven't seen your kitchen. No, there is like, no kitchen. Like, oh. The kitchen's right there. It's that makeshift uh, IKEA thing next to the Bruce Lee poster. Do you see that makeshift oh, thing? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, we can bring the price down a little bit. Let's just say 2800 <laughs> 2600 2800 is where we're at. Okay, it went down because of the makeshift yeah, IKEA. Yeah. But you know what? If you add, oh my God. if you get rid of the cobwebs and you put put yeah. on some fresh paint. Sw- well, my girl's you got a window? Yeah, I'd never open it. What does it face? Don't worry about it. It's closed all the time. This is a vampire cavern. Uh-huh. This is a vampire cavern. No lights in. No light gets in or out. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're one of those people. I you don't like sunlight? Sleep. I need Anti-sunlight. complete darkness. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Dark, dark, gotcha. dark. Yeah. So, right. man, New York. Are people there a lot different? than? I mean, we're, you've noticed, oh you've noticed a big difference, yeah. right? Yeah. So what are the main differences between a New Yorker and a Californian? Well, I think we're very direct. We don't like to that's cut what around you did the shit. To, that's what you did with my cobwebs. <laughs> <laughs> we don't like to waste time. We're very direct. We'll you, call you shit out. You went right to it. You're like, yeah, yeah. Uh, you have spider webs yeah. in here. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know if there's but spider webs. Those are, that's spy, did you interview Spider-Man? Because <laughs> <laughs> no, like, this is not just, are, these are not spider webs. No, no, webs. no. I'll tell this you what is, kind of, they're daddy, they're daddy long legs. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's daddy long legs that live. <laughs> you look 
so tense right I am now. just looking at yeah, everything. No, what There's else do we else. have? You know, one time I went to Dumbfounded Studio and he mm-hmm. had a dead cockroach under his, like, it was like this big. And I was like, <laughs> we're like on the computer. And I was like, hey, I just want you to know you have this underneath here. He's like, oh yeah, that's like my roommate that never pays rent. And I was like, how long has it been here for? And he was, I forgot what he said, but I was just like, okay. <laughs> You know what? Guys aren't just... Uh, I, I, mean, try, I'm not I try to clean. I try, but I need to really... It's like a real effort for me. Are you looking at yeah. more of the cobwebs? Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to go in the... Uh, after, you could go in the bathroom, but you... Oh, I don't you, think... You, thank you'll, you you'll very con- much. You, have, you could definitely see some flaws in there. All right. Yeah. So so what are the main differences? You're, it seems like you're fascinated with <laughs> like what's around you, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We yeah, have to stay on topic. Yeah. We have to stay on topic. Yeah. Uh, so the major differences between New Yorkers and Californians, what you notice? Yeah, we're obviously much more direct. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think we don't like to waste time. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. People love wasting time here. here. And I think people's <laughs> values are different. And mm. in L.A., it's more of a, oh, tell me what your title is. You know, they're very much into t- That's why, like, me figuring out titles, I'm like, whatever. Like, let me just show you my work and it speaks for itself. You know what Damn. I mean? In New York, it's, like, about the receipts versus here. It's very much about, like, tell me what you think or mm-hmm. what's that? It's tobacco. I do it every year. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, oh. yeah, it's chewing tobacco. My teeth, yeah, it rots my, but it gives me a little head buzz like a little buzz and that it, works. it calms me down can i see it i've actually yeah, never you seen wanna, it yeah you could i'm not gonna have any yeah but. it's it's just tobacco oh okay. and it says right here do, the, you, do you spit it out no i got into the point where it just contains inside my mouth <laughs> yeah uh-huh. um and it says right here this product can cause gum disease and tooth loss and i know at, at least it the, doesn't have pictures of like dead babies in yeah, someone's guts or something because those but, are gross. or a sawed off jaw yes does that Happen? No, but oh. I mean, if I showed you my gums, you'd be like, ooh. Do you go to the dentist? I mean, that's like the Antichrist. I will okay. not go. Yeah, okay. yeah. I All mean, right. I can go too. I have like low ass. Can I see your gums? No, I mean, there's, <laughs> well, there's, there's tobacco in there. Right? <laughs> your gums look okay. They look fine. I, br- I brush hard though. I don't know how much you want to stay on topic here. I'm no, just no, going I like this, like this, like this is fun. This is fun. This is fun. Yeah, you're, I didn't. You're like you're witty, dude. Okay, so I that's the other thing. Which dude, you, you're like, like, which again leads me back. I, I'm like, wow, you're like. Which leads me back to L.A. Oh, right, Bryce? Yes. She's hit me on for, from different angles. Like, boom, boom, boom. Which, you know, which, yeah, which leads yeah. me back to the L.A. New York thing. Because New York, we're like, let's move. Okay, yeah. before before I'm already thinking 10 steps ahead, L.A. Cali- California's like, chill, bro. Yeah, it's, especially if you're chilling. from San Diego. Yeah. No, oh, I'm chill. God. Relax, Yeah, bro. no, no, Let's no. go get a burrito, Drives bro. Drives me nuts. You don't I can't like that? say still like that. I'm so like, New Yorkers I have to more... know what we're doing. Where are we going? What's going on? Let me have a plan. And then I can go with the flow within the scope, but I need a scope. Really? Yeah. Is that, I, why do they walk so, I was there one time and <laughs> this person, I was just walking, like just doing no, my Cali that walk. that is the worst and then, thing we you can do. going to fight. They're yeah. Like, Ex- what? Dude, yeah, excuse I, me. I will say that to people. And then. I'll be like, this is not yeah, a Sunday. Like, str- this is not a like, Sunday the hell stroll, out of, you know. And then, <laughs> and then I like sat on the side where the Starbucks was. I was just like trying to like observe the flow. People, their hustle. Yeah. This guy was setting up his peanuts, say, peanut, you know, setting up yeah. setting peanuts and stuff on this. They're hustling out we there. We have a place to go. We have a place to be. We have something to do, and that's it. But why you walk, dude? I'm telling you, they walk like you have you're to be speed somewhere walking. On time. Oh. Here's the other thing. I mean, yeah, I can yeah, go, go ahead. On, no, I can no, go no. On break it down. Break it. it down. Break it down. This is interesting Here, to me. Here, when I'm in traffic, I'm in traffic. If someone's driving poorly in front of me, driving slow in front of me, I'm behind them. In New York, if someone's walking slow or being stupid, I can walk right around them. I'll walk into the street, walk around cars, and I'm good. I can still be on my way and be on my own time wow. versus here or, you know, a traffic light. I have to wait for a machine to tell me when to go versus in New York. If there's no cars, I'm going to go. I don't wait for permission. You're not waiting for permission. You just do it. Yeah. This is what you want to do. And so in New York, you don't need a car. No, you don't need it. You don't need it. It is. It is nice. If you go to Ikea, (laughs) (laughs) there's an Ikea in New York. Or if you go to Target. Yeah. It's like in the middle of nowhere. Oh, okay. Uh, But uh, a tar like Target, you know, if you're going to get toilet paper and paper towels, love it. You know, are there Asian awesome. markets and stuff? Is there yeah. a Koreatown, Chinatown? Yeah, see, our Koreatown is like the size of your Chinatown, so it's it's small. It's like 
two block radius kind yeah. of situation. How big is your Chinatown? And then our Chinatown is like is like huge. The food. It's like a Koreatown, not as big, but huge. Yep. What about the food? Obviously, it's amazing. And it's then the, I'm from Flushing. I don't so know if you've heard of that Where's before. Flushing? Where is that? So Flushing, Flushing is farther like, east on the map. That's where uh, Shea Stadium, the four, where the Mets used to play. Now oh, it's called City Field. Okay, okay. Keep going. Um, what else is there? We have the Unisphere. So where like Tribe Called Quest shoots their music videos. That little, yeah, the, that metal globe thing. Mm-hmm. And then Men in Black, that stuff. So can that's where you, all of it can, is. I didn't mean to interrupt, but I was uh, my girl brought me to the LA Film Fest. She had, she, uh, she had tickets there. Yeah, huh. And I bumped into Ali Shaheed Mohammed. I saw that. That was on. Was Dude, he on your show? I, no, I, I I I froze up. I was I was I like I saw a ghost. I was like shaking. Yeah. But like this has happened to me before, where a cat like uh so they'll walk by and I'll just I'll be frozen and yeah. I won't ask. But with him, I he walked by. He came out of the elevator. Elevator walked by, and then I looked at his face and I went, and I was trying to like. You know him, and it just went bing, and then I just grabbed him. I go, dude, are you? And then I like totally fanned out. Aww. I go, are you? Ali, are you? I said his whole name, full name. I said, are you Ali Shahid <laughs> Mohammed? <laughs> Trap call quest. He goes, he was so nice. He goes, yeah. I go, oh, okay. you know, I was like, I was like, I was like stuttering. Can, can I get a picture with you, please? <laughs> and then he goes, he was so nice. He uh-huh. goes, oh yeah. Well, if you don't mind me asking, isn't your brother kind of in the public eye a lot? So do you get tips from him on how to approach people or like, or do you like, are you more confident and more comfortable because of it? Maybe you've been with him when he's been approached. Well, it's, it's kind of different because that we're talking, he's in the comedy scene. But he's still like, yeah, but like people grew up watching him. We had Jackie Chan and we had your brother. Who else is a funny Asian guy? That's Dr. Ken. Ken yeah, John, like, yes, but Aquafina's he's more, he's coming more recent. Up. There's a he's lot more of them recent. coming up. Got, Steven got, Yoon. We got the more recent. That's but Steven back in Yoon's the day. Coming, you know, back in the day. I grew up with this guy though, so That's true. you know what I, I mean. Know. It's different. It's different. But it's different. The way I see the, these guys are like gods to me. So you me. got a photo I saw, and then what? Did and you then get my to girl was encouraging anything? me at the um, at the bottom because he we we left when he was leaving with his girl, uh-huh. uh, you know, by the valet down there. Mm-hmm. It was at a hotel. You wanted her to be your wingman no, and no, distract no, no. the she, woman. She kept saying, "Babe, you you should ask him to be on your show." And I'll go, and I was like, I was I was listening to her, but I was like so nervous. I was like, "Yeah, no, 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 no you know, let me just chill. Let me just, you know, yeah. come on, let me just chill. No, I'll get to it." Yeah. And then so I waited too long because. He ended up going to the front where the um, valet was, you know, like yeah. there's a bench there. And this other like long haired, w- older white guy um, like kind of went in there. And then see, you have that small had, window. I had you have the small, small window. window. And he, he was a jazz musician. It. He was a jazz musician. And my girl was like, see, babe, he did it. He and got the, him on the podcast. No, or but he because she said, um. He, uh, he had a business card and he gave it to him. Yeah. And then, and then the, he like, and then I think the way she was describing it, he, uh, Muhammad looked at her like, is your man okay? Like, is he okay? And then yeah. he just got in the car. Like, yeah. Yeah. So I blew that. That's yeah. okay. Next time. Well, well, you never, maybe, you, you never know because there's been times where, you know, cross paths with someone and you'll be like, Hey, you remember me when I just grabbed you? Oh, <laughs> right. Right. Hopefully so I have remember. you, um, being from New York, like, have you run into the likes of Q-tip or yeah, right. any of these people? I ran into, I didn't run into him, but mm-hmm. I was at Whole Foods and I saw most Def just pushing a, a cart Damn, of stuff. I like him. I'm a but fan. But you know what? Yeah. I, I remember think, I had the Black Star tape. I had the tape. I, mean, I, I feel like in New York, it's like, or I mean, maybe it's just me. When you see a celebrity, you see a celebrity. That's it. It's not, it's, it's not like, it's not like LA where it's like, oh my God, like we got to. No, I'm not like Everyone that either. Everyone takes their phones no, out. No, I'm not, like I'm not that saying either. you were, yeah. but I'm just saying it's super. It's super. Just like, oh yeah, okay. It, like for me, because you even said you're like, oh, your brother. Because I've I've seen a lot of famous people. Yeah. Like, be, but no I, one, no one that you admired and that you yeah, were a super well, fan of. Some people like on this poster, it's different to me. They're like they're like gods to me. Like I put them mm-hmm. on a high. Like they're like. Have you met anyone else from the group? No, I mean, well, rest in peace, Five. But uh, yeah, I'm a huge Q-Tip fan. Huge. Aww. I'm like, anything he does, like, I mean, I remember watching Yo! TV Raps, like, oh my God, that, 
this is the best group, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, I mean, being from New York, I mean... It's great. It's great. I mean, that must have had an impact on you. You know, sometimes you. I just listen to... I Sometimes I just pull up Tribe and that's all I listen to on Spotify. Yeah. And I'm like... It's just, the, I mean, obviously, back in the day, it's like before the internet, there was a very distinct, like, New York identity yeah, and dude. a very distinct LA identity. So, for mm -hmm. example, I like when I was in, I like, like... I love Nas, too. I like Nas. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's mm -hmm. that, like, appreciation for the music. Back in the day when I was in, like, say, it was like, I mean, internet was kind of around. When I was in junior high, I would visit my family in Arcadia. Where's that? So, that's, like, San Gabriel Valley okay, in LA. Okay, 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 okay. And then I, it's where all the other Asians are. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Our family is there. Um, <laughs> but like, you know, I used to shop on like Jamaica Ave and wear Jordans and wear like uh, Echo Red and mm -hmm. have braids and wear, you know, all this stuff. It was that time period. Yes. And it was normal to mm -hmm. me as in my entire community, people in my age group. This is how we dress. This is how we talk. This is normal. Was that during and cross then, colors? No. Okay. Okay. I, I wore that. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I believe okay, that. Okay. I believe that. Oh, I did. And then yeah, I, I would come them. I would come here and visit, mm -hmm. but everyone would be wearing Hollister and Abercrombie and they would look at me and be like, "What portal did you just step out of?" Wow. So it's Because if you look at old photos of the Puerto Rican Day Parade in the 90s, yeah. It was very different from the oh, way so Latinos the looked like very in the different. the 90s here. Yeah. Oh, they're rocking well, just, Ben Davis no, just, out here. Just period, 90s period, early yeah. 2000s period, people still dress differently coastwise. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. So which one do you prefer? I mean, do you do you? Oh, I'm a New Yorker all the way. Absolutely. Your heart, your heart is heart. Is yeah, home is New where York. the heart is. Yeah. New York. Yeah. Is the food better there than out here? Hmm. Because you guys, the cool people, thing people is, talk about your pizza. Both cities have great diversity, cultural diversity, yeah, and yeah. ethnic diversity. Dude, the Korean so. food here is bomb, though. It is better. Yeah, Korean yeah, food is better. Yeah. Standards are higher. Yeah. Uh. I was trying to think of something Korean to say, but it's okay. okay. No, it's, maybe it's okay. I, I, I yeah, yeah. Could <laughs> Which is like, of yeah, course, of right? Course, or something. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you could totally put it. <laughs> could you, could you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, what? Oh, pizza. Yeah. Pi yeah. Is the, cause I went out there and I just got a slice. I don't know where. And I'm, I was eating it and I'm like, well, you gotta go to good, good places and bad oh. places. It's like getting, oh, I'm in LA. I'm going to get a taco. And you just go anywhere. Oh, right. You need to know where. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you're right. Okay, yeah. yeah. And then, but there's a thing that you guys have. You have like bomb ass delis there. The bodegas. So explain to the people on the West so Coast what, what is a bodega? It's basically your corner store. So they sell your cigarettes. Your Arizona green tea for 99 cents, condoms, mm -hmm. uh, Damn, you get it all. ice cream. You get everything. And then, and then the nicer ones, you can get like mac and cheese, some yeah. potato chips. 24 hours? Um, 20, some of them are, most That's of them are 24 like hours. Sometimes they're, they're, they have bulletproof that. plexiglass. Mm -hmm. Anytime, at any point you need something, it's probably on a corner, a block or two away. Wow. Like every corner, anything there's you one. Need. Yep. That's awesome. See how your things get, close yeah. down? Well, 7 Eleven, but. And also, this neighborhood is like, yeah. Oof. Let's talk about it. So, yeah. wait, so we're not going to disclose what neighborhood, but you said your friend got her car jacked. Her car got jacked around these. Streets? So then she had to report it, and they found it. Found it like a month later, and it was just like there was like a wig in it. There was like all this stuff. You know the stuff you usually see on the streets because like if you're walking your dog, you see all this yeah. stuff. Yeah. Just like creepy Are you sure crawlers. This street, this street, this street's not that. It, it was. was like, she lived on Mansfield and <laughs> found it. <laughs> This isn't okay, live, well, so it's okay. okay. Just bleep. Okay, just bleep but, it. Okay. Damn. Okay, you I'll tell you. I'll you tell you. Stuff, when I was right? walking, okay. This when is I a was, really dark street. Yeah. Too. When I walk my dog, I walk my dog the other night around where the street you just <laughs> the street that you just said, and in a little nook out of nowhere, there's this crackhead lady. Just a person. Just in this like a little nook like this, yeah. and she goes hi. Yep. And I was like, and then she said Literally. it again. She goes hi. And I'm like, all right, Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. And then sense. let me tell you something, and this is scary. Thank God we have we have cameras out front. Uh -huh. But uh, one night, morning, five five in the morning ish, uh -huh. Kirby was going crazy, like barking, like hard, like directly. Oh at my God! Me. Is there someone looking inside and your then, apartment? No, 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 no. And then I go, and, but I was so tired. I didn't even usually I open like I grab a little. My Ikea knife. <laughs> then, I, then, I, then I opened the door. But I didn't do that. I didn't do that. But then 
But then later when I w- went to walk him, I opened the door and then there was stuff on the stairs there. Yeah, there's just like people's junk. Yeah, like no, just no, trash. It was, it was my stuff because I have stuff on the side of my place. Like, oh. um, just like little toys, like video game toys or stuff. He yeah. said toys. And, but he, this, whoever did this arranged it like meticulously. It was like meth behavior. Yeah. And so I was like, what the hell? It kind of like, and then, and then I, 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 uh, well, my neighbor out front has the he has the password to the cameras. So I told him, I go, dude, can you check the cameras around yeah. four to yeah. seven in the morning? And dude, I wish did I show you that picture? Yeah, it was on a vlog. Yeah. This guy, he was this white guy. He looked cracked out, and he was holding like like a something like this, like like come. He was the guy that came back here. <laughs> The guy. Oh my god! Yeah, so you you know you gotta. Yeah. And I noticed Bryce. Well, late, you live here. I know. So and I noticed I'm lately. Okay, I'm just visiting. I gotta be. I just gotta be quick on my toes. I, I don't stare at him for a long time. I ignore. Like I'll ignore. Like but I know you're there. But you gotta watch your back too, because they'll just crackheads are. See that's so that's the other thing between LA and New York is our homeless people. They're just homeless. They're like struggling. Homeless, here, mentally ill, legit mentally ill, and seriously on drugs. Yeah. Oh. Th- so they like the ones here because you know I work in downtown. Yeah. They come up to you. They will engage with you, and they'll do things that you can't even like. You can't even predict. You know what I'm saying? Like it's one thing if you see someone coming to you. Yeah. Like it's like here, it's just out of the blue. That's why I'm like, well, you know, if you're just walking your dog, you gotta be careful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, another the other night the the two nights before the night I told you about the the crack. Hey. There's I was I was at the same corner, the corner that you you already disclosed, and there's a there's this guy I didn't tell you the story. This pretty buff white guy, like crosses the street from the other side, from the south side onto the north yeah. side, and he goes, "Why is your dog looking at me, dude?" And I go, "Oh." He goes, and he walks right up to me. What's your problem, dude? Why's your dog looking at me, dude? And I'm like, oh, he's just. And I try to like. <laughs> I was just like, oh, he, he has. Was a, he a homeless guy or just a regular, just aggressive? I'm gonna get to that. Okay. I'm gonna get to that. I looked at him. He's he looked familiar. Oh. I'm not gonna say his name, but I am in a 12-step program. I'm sober. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. He, thank you. He's from. He used to be what I do now. Mm-hmm. He got a year and he went out. Mm-hmm. So. And that kind of saved me because I'm like, oh, I recognize you. And I started bringing up meetings that he might have went to. And he goes, oh, yeah, I used to go to that. Yeah. Man. You know, and I like calmed him down. Oh, that's good. Yeah, but it was scary, dude. I had to kind of like, oh, no, there's another thing you did. He looked, so he was like, he wanted to know if I lived there. He goes, you live here? And he kept After looking. the conversation? No, 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 this during oh, the conversation. Oh. He kept going, you live here, man? And I'm like, oh, no. He goes, and then he paused and he goes, Let's go get him. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. What'd you say? I go, I just, (laughs) you know, like (laughs) nervous. No, no, it's, no. I'm like, I try to like switch topics, but you you know, but he had like a orange, um, like a Kroger's orange juice um, carton thing, but like with no orange juice. There's just too many characters here. There's so many characters here. And it's just you you just don't know. Yeah, I've heard So uh, there's it's I thought New York was rough like that. Like that. It's gotten a little bit better. I think I mean obviously LA has one of the biggest homeless issues, the population in all of America, mm-hmm. right? Is that correct? I don't know. I might it's be making bad. that up. It's, it's pretty getting, it's like I think worse. statistically it's yeah, worse it's stati- too. yeah, it's obviously getting worse. Well, San Francisco is the same way where they're aggressive as well. Oh, I heard there, there's, um, there it goes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, yeah. <laughs> That was smooth. It's You're okay. <laughs> so how now I have a question. Um, how long does you have like a, a one napkin, your go-to <laughs> napkin <laughs> that you spit it all out in? A and B. Oh, there's more. Um, and they all go She's in the, the same first, pocket. She is the first guest ever on the Stevie Weeby show to catch me. And Spit like, out no, 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 because no one notices. No one mouth. notices. No one notices ever. I think people notice and they just don't want to say anything. Oh. I say everything people think. Oh. <laughs> My parents hated it. You just did it. Yeah. She's the first person. Because Bryce, do I do that every episode? 
So, uh, so did yeah, just, just years ago. So it just hangs out in your pocket. No, I mean I'll throw it away. I don't. I don't usually. I and wait, then accidentally yeah, I just, you do laundry. Just do that. See, it's the gunks in there. Uh-huh. Okay. And you do laundry and yeah. then it's just okay. That's why I go to Starbucks. That's I, very I usually have I usually have a stack. And usually people have a cup. That's why I, I asked. know. I told you I've been, I've done it for so long that I don't need to spit anymore. You just wipe it it's into like a napkin. It's like jerky juice oh. in my mouth contained. Oh. Yeah. And I'm going to pay probably in the future if when I once I go back to the dentist and he does an x-ray, right? Or X-ray. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's not good for your your mouth. It's basically putting tobacco in my yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> she looked at me with such concern. She was like, uh oh. <laughs> hey, you know, we don't got that much job. time. I mean, there's only, we're all going to die one day. You know, if I go out like this, I know it's going to break, you know, my mom's heart or my brother will be upset, but well, they'll, what get, about they'll get Kirby? over it. He'll be taken care of. You know, Mickey York had a lot of, Mickey York had a lot of like, Mental related issues, but Mickey he Rock, never. I'm a big fan of the, the but, actor. Yeah. Oh, I love that. But he I never took Rock. his life because of his dogs, and I thought it was one of the most inspiring stories really? ever. So he was, I think, two chihuahuas or three chihuahuas or something about small dogs, and it's like, yeah, he he battled depression and suicidal issues, but he what always brought him back was like, what am I going to do with my dogs? Who's going to take oh, care of my dogs? Beautiful. And I was like, I like that. You know, yeah. Bukowski was an animal person too, like with cats. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he. You, you hear about that, Charles Bukowski? He wasn't like that before, but once he met the uh, the latest wife, she had like five cats, or you know, yeah. he wrote poems and stuff about it. Yeah, Aww. yeah. So this is interesting because how we doing on t- look how far we are. Like we're more than halfway done, and I haven't even asked you. Oh, you can, we can go. We can, let's go through the questions that I wrote down. Okay, we'll go through you're them. You're so quick. She's one of the quickest guests. Like she could just kind of go any which way. I try to drive the okay, same way, but okay. it's not as... Yeah. I'm going to ask you, so I asked about the pizza, growing up in New York. Uh, what is the Parsons School of Design? Uh, an overpriced school that lots of rich kids go to, and also they shoot that show, uh, Fashion Project Runway, on, on oh, there. Want, yeah. I'm doing a horrible sell of the school. But... So it you is went a very, there? It's a pre- no. <laughs> yes, yes, I did. Why would you it's talk a prestigious like school. It's a prestigious school. There's yeah. lots of like some bunch of great uh, Asian fashion designers that came out of there. I just remember that recently. Just I walked through a hallway and it was like a bunch of p- pictures of them. Yeah, yeah. I can't name any off the top of my head, but they're famous. But anyways, uh, the school used to be a very prestigious art school, mm-hmm. and then in the recent years, because tuition's so expensive, they accept a lot of these rich kids, and so it just brings down the rich kids who don't really have the intention of pursuing an, an education oh, wow. properly. Why are they there? Because it's an easy way out. Mommy, yeah. and daddy have yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. And so it's a nice campus and everything. Oh, we don't. We don't have a campus. We have oh. a building and then another building and then you take the train to go to the other building. Oh, yeah. It's in like New that? York. It's in New York. It's not like Columbia or NYU oh, where it's like a campus. Oh wow. Yeah. So there's not dorms or. We have <sighs> dorms. They have like various buildings around the city mm. where there's dorms, but that shit's expensive too. How many but years? I've, I've tried it. Yeah. How many years do, were you? Were you Four going? years undergrad. I majored in illustration Mm -hmm. and then I audited classes outside of my major like motion graphics and graphic design and packaging design and all this crazy stuff, coding. Um, And then I also worked part time in Union Mm -hmm. Square at like different retail spots. And I also did internships. So you did retail as well? Oh yeah, I love working retail. Where do you think I get my people (laughs) skills from? Oh wow. I have to sell you something. Wow. And so then, wait, and wait, then wait, my wait. top performer, and then my competitive Asians, like, I need to be the best seller in this yeah, store. Yeah. So what retail spots were you working at? So I worked at Puma. I worked at you Journeys. Worked at Puma? Like retail. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Retail. Not like at the Dude, company. I bet you she could sell you anything. Oh, there. yeah. That's like, I look, at the end of the day. You'd be like, do you want some socks no matter, to go with that? Yeah. No matter what you are, you're a salesperson, right? At the end of the day. For me, I'm selling my service and my art, yeah. like my art and and like yeah. working with me, I'm fr- professional, and so you and then you have to sell too. yourself. I was looking at your website. You've done so many different Thank things you. here. Warby Parker. I just got my girl glasses there. So let's uh-huh. talk about that. How'd you get involved with them? Um, how did I get involved? Okay, so like obviously we're in 2018 now. There's a lot of uh, a lot of like a lot, of, and I don't know if you get this sometimes when people are like, "Hey, we'd love to." I don't know what what was it. I forgot what the opportunity was. 
something about like I've been, me. I've been a long time user of Warby Par- uh, Parker. I I wear products since 2011. Oh, I'm I honored and to humbled just... to collaborate with my go-to eyewear I brand think, to think... be featured. And you did all these fonts and stuff? Yeah, so they wanted me, I think they wanted to like feature, just like highlight me as like a profile thing. And yeah, I was like, yeah. that's really cool. But like, you, I want You did that too? That's like New York graffiti yes. style. <laughs> that's, that's bubble writing okay. from elementary school. Okay. But yes, I did do that. They pay for it. So yeah. again, that's how good of a salesperson I am. I just thought of an idea because <laughs> I was looking at your style. Have you just, you don't have to do it, but have you considered tattoo designs? That's too much of a commitment. That's Dude, so scary. Dude, look at your, your stuff. It, yeah, right, but what right? if I mess up? You can't, I'm, no, no, no. Just the design. You can't oh, mess up. Oh, is our next up, episode no. going to be me <laughs> tattooing? <laughs> tattooing. <laughs> yeah, there's a tattoo shop down the street. No, I'm just saying be, creating designs for tattoo shops. You know, where people you come have up asked, with the designs. So people have asked me before. I've done drawings where people got the tattoo of Dude, it like for very very right, close friends totally of mine and then i've had people just do tattoos of my art and then they just have it and i'm like whoa how does that make you feel does that weird you out it weird i mean i you know james had that too a lot james gene oh J- like, hell yeah he's like famous he's so, oh, so he's like, same with dave yeah they've got yeah, the, the, they've the got monko, the monko yeah. i mean I, to me i'm just like man that really resonated with you that you need to get it on your body but okay so, the, so the, they've gotten tattoos of your work already? Yeah. And then they did email they, it to they... me. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, wow. That's commitment. <laughs> so what does that make you feel like? What's your initial feeling when you see that? I'm like, like kind of weird. like I'm weirded out at first. Yeah, don't you feel And I feel like, bad because like I'm like, a concerned parent, uh, like yeah, like, oh, ooh, this is going to be on you. Ooh. I mean, I have tattoos, but yeah. I'm also just like, if it's your work, you, it's like you, you're used to seeing it living in different spaces, not on someone's body yeah, that they're going to die in one day and it's, it's on them. It's living for as long as they live. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, that was just, I just came up with that. So you're not interested in uh, tattoo design, like specifically for like no, yeah. shops or whatnot. And then you work for, uh, what about this uh, mural you did in Silver Lake? Let's, let's talk about that. How'd you get, how'd you, um, that looked like a fun so, day for you. So you know what's funny? Mm-hmm. A lot of the jobs it's called I the have. It's called Lululemon mural. Lululemon. Oh, Lululemon. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I can't read. <laughs> Lululemon. I'm sorry. Lululemon. And then you, how long did it take you to do that? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh did I say Lululemon? <laughs> Right after you said it correctly, you <laughs> mispronounced the shit out of it. It's like, what? Okay, we're going to edit this part too. Okay, Bryce? Okay, so it says right here, uh, um, Lululemon kicks off the uh, season no, th- so with their they, new brand, so, Manifesto. So they came up this- with this new like Manifesto thing that had all these words like, I don't know, stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then and then Love was one of them. And then they have this huge mural space. And there's some people who want you to I draw something. So I'm like, okay, cool. I love that. You want that as a tattoo? Yeah, I was thinking we'll do a, a sharpie. Tattoo. We'll do a sharpie version of it on your knee for you. Um, so that was cool. Actually, I I I never wore their stuff. I bought one of their sports bras and had like the worst experience in terms of their sizing. So then I stretched it on a chair. Does your parents do your parents stretch things on chairs if they don't? <laughs> <laughs> I don't because I do. I got it from my mom. Oh, okay, okay. I got it. So I was like, yeah. this doesn't fit me. I'm gonna stretch it on a chair. And then I made a video of it. Oh, and you I did tagged like a vlog. Them. No, no, no. Well, just on my Instagram okay, and I yeah, tagged yeah, them. Yeah. I was upset. I was annoyed because it was a very, very small, like obscene fit. Yeah. And I was like, they need to stop using prepubescent women as their fit models. Oh and then someone from the company reached out to me and then I built a relationship that way. And then now I'm getting some checks that, from them. That's how you did it? Yeah, I complain all the time to companies. And that's so there how you I go, viewers. If you're out there and you're aspiring to do what she does and well, it's make honest. your brand... Complain to these businesses. Yeah, because their opinion, your opinions are important. You're the consumer, and if their shit's I fucked up, you gotta let so them you know. Gotta complain. I do that all the time. But but do you okay, but wait, complain? Do, hold up. Let's talk about. Do you okay. do you email them? Do you call them? Like, how do you? Do, Sometimes is it Twitter? No, oh, it's could, like Instagram. It'll be like, look, you guys you, suck, and here's why. Look at it. It's broken. The Fix direct it. you direct message it. Them? No, I just tag them on my th- thing, and they respond back. Sometimes they do. Steve. Dude, you are like the light bulbs are going off. Now. Yeah. Another time. So there's this new, there's this like skincare company called Heyday. They started out in New York. You and do then, work for them too? No, no, no. Well, <laughs> they op- no, but they opened up a location, but it's not always about work. It's about building a relationship with these brands, right? Because so, you're a you customer. you started with complaining. Yeah. I love complaining. <laughs> Jeez. 
Yeah, people. It worked. I, I'll meet Dude, people. Dude, look at, you know what? The proof is in the gosh darn pudding. Yeah, if you go look to. Look at this. Look if, at the work you've done. If you go up. So you've done Stussy too? If you go Look up, at that. And you click Adidas? Yeah. Let's you, hear tell me about that. How the hell did you get into Adidas? Well, you know what? I started Bryce, out pay doing attention, dude. I started out doing little things and then it grew more actually, you know, I got off a phone today with someone because I was complaining about how much they suck. Every time I'm like, You're from Adidas? Let me tell you all the opportunities that you guys fucked up on events and fucked up on shoes and this is stupid and this is stupid. So whoever your boss is, give me their number. I need to talk to them. Wow. But I've also gotten to it's a point where it's that New York it's mentality. That, no, it's not dude, that, that's a New York it's not mentality. Only targeting the problems, but also offering them solutions and saying, "Look, I'm the person with solutions and answers, and I can help you. And I know other people that can help support your brand. So you guys need to fix this." Like on their Adidas women account the other day, they had like a whole campaign, and it was about like women, future empowerment, and they're all white women. I'm sorry, no offense, Bryce, but I was but like, woman, so I this, yeah. well, in yeah, this, no, well, you're intrigued. white. He's you're intrigued white. right no, now. But Keep in the, talking. In the present day and age. Age, like you need to have some sort of diversity, whether it's bodies or skin color, m- you know, melanin, something. And so I DM'd them. And I'm like, look, you guys need some more diversity. If mm-hmm. you need some people of color, uh, let you me know. Said that? Yeah, they oh never responded, but they read let it. Let me see your business card, dude. I need. I'm, I'll have a dude. I'll you have are a business just, card. You know, but yeah, you I can sell anything. You, can. you want me to be your PR marketing? Oh my god. Um, I was telling my friend, I was like, you guys should work with Burberry. This would be a great time you for you. You did stuff with Samsung? Yeah. <laughs> How did a- I get that one? Did I complain no, no, too? Yeah, yeah. Okay, explain. Most of them is complaining. No, like, how'd you get into Samsung? How'd you get, work with them? Samsung, you know, I, I used to work. I wasn't always freelancing, but there was a period of time when I was working full time. And then I got this one opportunity through like it's just friends of friends, you know, kind of a trickle effect. But I had an opportunity to do to go to CES with Samsung. You look like you're dude. Disgusted. uh, All I'm thinking about. This is my thought. I'm like, she's a goddamn hustler. Do you want me to? Yeah, <laughs> she's that's a, what I know. She's I will hustle, hustle the shit out of people. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Is that the look that I gave? I was, yeah. I was just trying to wrap my head. I around love like, hustling people. She's a hustler, dude. Yeah. That's what you are. You got to optimize the you situation. Are, yep. You are a straight up hustler. Dude. Yep. And I'm also cheap Chinese, so <laughs> you marry that together or wow. Taiwanese, whatever. You marry that together, and it is just success. You did stuff for Insecure? Yeah, so their first season. Dude, she did stuff on the HBO on yeah. series Insecure. My girl watches that. Yeah, I love that show. I haven't seen the new season, but, but yeah. you did work for them? Yeah. You know how, what? How did you... Building great relationships, the agency that was working on it with HBO, and then my this guy... Uh, he used to work in the publication industry. His girlfriend was working for HBO. And then, you know, people had seen my work. And then they're like, oh, we need an illustrator. Why don't we get this girl? Oh, my God. This is crazy. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's just keep going. Foot Locker. Foot and Locker. Adidas. And Adidas. So both of them. Yep. Both of them at the How, same time how'd and How did you separate. get into the door with Foot Locker? Foot Locker. Pay attention sometimes, to Bryce. sometimes it's just through other brands. Foot Locker. That one. That one was just... Just like they're like, hey, uh, we're looking for customization stuff. Can we get you to create some set graphics and we'll get them etched on cust- like yeah. whoever buys a superstar, they can get a graphic on the shoe. Are, that, so it's like nail that, art. Your, your face is so filled with confidence, right? Well, OK. Well, you know what? There, there was there's, you're, you're, that smells like I got them. You want to know why? <laughs> Got him, damn right, best, I got him. Here's the best part. There's a there was another illustrator, so it was both of us. And then for customers that came in, they can either choose my art or his art. Yeah. And then at the end, I asked the production people, I'm like, who got uh, more selects? And they're like, you did. And I was like, yes, I know. And that's, that's smart. Competitive. <laughs> Competitive. <laughs> Good for you, girl. Thank you. You're Thank you very much. Thing, huh? Wow. You are killing the. You are killing. So when people are sitting dude, around you are and killing being confused. Life right now. Let's Thank go you. on a Stussy. How the hell? A stone's throw. A stone's throw. Stussy. <laughs> Why are you crying? It's just I'm so filled with emotion and it's I, just uh-huh. it's it's so inspiring. It's ama- It's almost mind blowing. Well, like, when people what the are hell? like, no, like the oh. answer is. You know, they wow. can't find a solution. It's just, it's, it's, an, I don't know. I you think know what? You're teaching viewers right now. Give them some pointers on 
like how, like where how you got to where you're at right well, now? People, what are three traits right okay. now? Would, yeah, like you so could, uh, one of my disclose. first internships mm-hmm. was with Complex Magazine. Mm-hmm. You know about Complex Magazine? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I wow. was getting their magazines since like high school. It just started coming in. I was like, this is the coolest magazine ever. This is the first time I've ever seen something with men and women and sneaker culture and music and like street art that mm-hmm. I love because it was like juxtaposed artists. It was they have like stuff on YouTube too. They have yeah, like, they have all yeah, this, like a web well, series. They're like a huge mm-hmm. like media platform mm-hmm, now. Mm-hmm. But back in the day, I was like, man, I would love to work for them one day. Like, I don't know what I would do. And mm-hmm. then when I went to Parsons, you know, I was getting my degree. One day I was just like, man, I'm going to I'm going to reach out to them. And I didn't really know where to start. So, you know, when you open up a magazine in the front, they tell you all the people that work for the company. So I looked down all their names and I Googled it. Old school. And I couldn't looking. find I couldn't find any of their email addresses. Yeah. But I found some people's Facebooks. So you I Facebook messaged on the them. Facebook? I Facebook messaged them. I'm like, hi, my name is Sophia Chang. I'm an illustrator currently at Parsons School of Design, and I'm going to be graduating. Da, 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 da. Here is my website, and I'd love to see if I could do some artwork for you guys. I might have emailed the HR person or uh, someone in accounting or whoever else in whatever department, but I knew that at least if I put 100 emails out or 50 emails out, they'll forward me to the right person. And then I got an interview. And then when I came in for the interview, you know, they were like, oh, well, she knows how to use Photoshop. Let's give her something some stuff and then i worked on that's actually how i learned how to create magazines through wow, that opportunity like spreads and stuff yeah I, I didn't learn that in school yeah so i learned it through my internship oh i learned about digital God. marketing Amazing. i learned about agency and yeah. proposals and how to you know the whole team of like editorial team advertising team copywriting video team all of that so it's action it's perseverance it's not Taking yeah, and no, not, uh, not, I mean, sometimes people say no now, but they'll say yes a couple years later. So you got to be proactive. You're yeah, like, I'm proactive. Hi, you're, but you're like hyper pro. You're like, <laughs> you're like next, next. next you're like, yeah, but at the same time, look they at, don't, dude, it shows. Look, they don't know that I exist. It's my job to make sure they know I exist. Say that again to the camera. That's true. Say that to the, that's, uh, that's good. That's they don't know, be. the brands don't know that I exist and I have to make sure that they know I exist. They so. know now, don't they? Yeah. They sure do now. Hmm? Stones throw, Stussy Stones, how, how'd you get in there? Uh, I forgot per se, but I had the opportunity to work on a poster. That, that was the second job Stoke. I did with them. The first job was they did a tour with uh, three emerging artists under the Stones Throw label, mm-hmm. and they were doing this like Asian tour, mm-hmm. and they needed a poster to go with it. Um, and then I worked on that. But a lot of it, it's just, look, I have the window of opportunity to work with this major company. Yeah. Let me show them that I know how to deliver, work with timelines, deadlines, be professional, and just put out great work. Yeah, They're going to yeah. come back. I have yeah. returning clients all the time because of that. You know? Wow. It's pretty. Yeah. You, were, you did a TED Talk? A TEDx talk, not a TED she, talk. She did a TEDx talk. Yeah, I That's told amazing, someone I did a girl. TED talk, and they're like, "TED, TED, oh, it's TEDx, it's not TED." So let's talk. How did you? How did you get? That I had an, you do I had that? an opportunity to do that. So uh, I got into public speaking. Just it's you know what it is. It's just opportunities come, and I'm like, look, I'm here to try it. And if it yeah. doesn't work, then it doesn't work. If I don't like it, then I don't like it. But like maybe there's some strengths to discover there or I can be uncomfortable on stage and figure it out. How can viewers check that out? Could they YouTube it? or? Yeah, it's on YouTube. So if what you do they type te- in? Sophia TEDx, Chang? Sophia TEDx, Chang. TEDx, Sophia Chang. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that How long one, is it? Like an hour? Yeah. Oh you know who was on there? Jin the MC. Oh, I'm a fan. That's New York. That yeah, cool? Rough Riders. Yeah, I'm a that fan of Jin. That was so cool. You know, I'm also a fan of, uh, fan of China Mac. Who's that? He's he's the he's the new he's. Have you heard of Jackie Chain? <laughs> but China Mac is from yeah, New York. You should, you should okay. Google Jackie okay. Chain okay. another I'll day. Check I'll, I'll check that out. He's like a, yeah. from the south. Bryce, I wanted to get your your oh. feedback. I mean, is this blowing your mind or what? It's hard to keep up. I'm, I'm no. I'm talking advice. about how much work she's actually like. The the proof is right there. I think she's done a lot. Weird. You are one of the most inspiring guests. No, I'm you not. Are, no, you are because it's like we're going down the gambit here as, as far as you have a story for each of these things. Yeah, either and you're, complaining. And you're, and, you're dis, <laughs> and you're disclosing it and, and telling the viewers. What are some other pointers? Give, give some words of encouragement to people who uh, want to get into your field of work. You know, what else is there? I don't 
think it's just my field of work. I think it's any field of work. I think you just have to stop sitting around and feeling bad for yourself and thinking there's no opportunities out there and just making opportunities for yourself. Like a suggestion I give to friends all the time is Kirby. like, is um, if, wow. if, uh, what was I going to say? If you're on, unha- or say like, you know, I have a friend that if they majored in accounting, but they're not a fan of the accounting world, but they're fans of choreography or Def Jam. Def Jam needs accountants. Why don't you go work there? Wow. Or like, you know, people are unhappy with their job position. Yeah. It's not what they want to do, but this is what they want to do. So then why don't you pitch it to the company? So why don't you pitch don't... yourself a whole different title and a whole different idea and then sell it in a way that fulfills Look, this is the company's void. I'm here to fulfill it. I'm your answer. And here's how exactly I'm going to do it. This wow. is how much I'm going to need. So let's do it. Dude. You should be on Oprah, dude. Oh, yeah. Straight we'll get up. One day, maybe. Ellen. No, I see this in maybe. the future. Ellen and Oprah, for real. Oh, thanks. Hey, did you have to deal with rejection at any time? Oh, in, yeah. In, throughout? Let's talk but about like, that. So a, how, how'd, but, you, how'd you deal with that? But it's rejection? a 50-50 chance, though, right? If I'm sending a cold email, they're going to say yes or they're going to say no. And if they say no, so would you say most? Then I'll follow up with them three months later. <laughs> I have that. Yeah, I have follow. I'm the director of following up. I will absolutely follow up with everyone. I will. So Google. Say that to the, so, kids or kids in, in or college adults. or people who are interning, don't just give up on the first rejection. Follow up. Follow up. If not a year later, not three years later, I think a lot of times it's not just following up, but getting your shit in order. Yeah. So if your shit looks amateur and people say no, there's probably a reason why too. Wow. Yeah. And I think a big thing too is looking at the people you admire and like, I don't want to say your competitors, but people you admire and seeing, okay, how is their packaging like? How's their presentation like? Oh. How can I model it after that equation, but make it my own? You oh. know? Oh, so you do that. Yeah, like if they have a website. You grab inspiration that's like, from people you res- yeah. other artists or yeah, other people artists, in different fields? Yeah, like, oh, this person, like, uh, you know, that's the cool thing about being New York, too, because you're just out and about on everything, with mm-hmm. everything. Like, you can be inspired by a movie poster, someone's mm-hmm. outfit, Kirby, uh, Kirby. you know, mm-hmm. a, a, a performance. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But it can still feed into whatever your work is, whether you're writing wow. an essay wow. or drawing yeah, a picture. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I just want limitless. just a couple more. I'm just like it's. This is blowing my mind right now. Adidas. So you've worked with all of the shoe, the major shoe brands. Yay! All of them, right? Ad- uh, this is Adidas. An- an- Adidas, Nike, and yeah. Puma. Yeah. And hopefully Reebok soon. Oh, yeah. that's next. But I, I mean, yeah. So. Wow. Hey, Kirby. Wow, that's amazing. Oh. How old is Kirby? He's uh, two now. I love how he just nudges you with yeah, his Yeah, he's like, hey, hey. And his mouth. And what's this about the real wolf of uh, Wall uh, Street? Steve like, Madden. Yeah. The... Um, so that brand connection came mm-hmm. from me walking down the street in Soho, bumping into a friend. In and York? they were like, oh, this is my friend. She needs an illustrator. You guys should connect. It's like the all time. In New York, there's another New York and L.A. thing. In New York, everyone's family. Like, I respect you. I respect your work. If there's an opportunity for me to get you some money, take it. Go for it, bro. I like that out there. LA, yeah, it's LA like, is like everyone's for themselves. Like, yeah. oh, let me, uh, let me keep this, which is not good for growth. Most of the work that I've had came from referrals, people that supported me. Wow. I love supporting other people if I can. Um, so, that's so, yeah, just so like then the- I started a relationship with Steve Madden. They had like a little magazine. And so I started illustrating. Steve's tweets that they would put in the magazine or, Amazing, you know. Amazing, dude. Amazing. And it was just fun. So it's like that in New York. People are more like down to, to Col- help each other. Yeah. Like yeah. You know, if you respect someone and you know their work is good and you can vouch for them, it's like family. And then you did this, the Six Degrees of Illmatic Gnosis. Yeah. So that was for Complex. So Complex still comes back for work you sometimes. Thank you. For that. I'm um, a big fan of that album. Big so, fan. Uh, yeah, so that you know, they know what I do. I've been there. I was interning there since like 2007, wow. 2008, yeah. when I was just a college student. Oh, wow, well, Kirby, Kirby. Kirby. Up. you want to come up? No. So what? What? Because you've accomplished a whole lot already. What lies in the future for Sophia? So, Chang? Uh, so I have my own thing, and then which is great and and cute, I think, for the time being, mm-hmm. to be in the spotlight and stuff. But mm-hmm. I, I also started an agency three years ago with a business partner. It's called We Ascend. 
Is there a website for that? Yes, we ascend.nyc slash we're going to change that soon. Okay, <laughs> so tell, us just about, tell us more about that. What's it about? But it's called We Ascend because it's the idea of ascending with your community. Because in the past 10 years of me working in the industry, I'll get a direct call from... No, Kirby! The, it's okay, my dog humps too. Look at that. Oh, okay. Um... Oh, was I gonna, oh uh, I'll get like direct calls from the MLS or the NBA on a job, which is so cool. But it's like, I know a lot of other amazing, talented people. And why the don't we- The soccer league? Yeah. Oh, like, why don't awesome. we work on like a bigger job together and, mm -hmm. you know, tackle more together and get paid all together? Wow. You know? And so the agency is the idea of like working on more bigger production jobs. Mm -hmm. I've had the pleasure of working on agency side and also from the talent side. So I see the budgets people are working with, mm -hmm. the type of people who work behind the mm -hmm. desks, the lack of diversity, the lack of diverse ideas. And mm -hmm. so, you know, we're here to kind wow. of change the algorithm yeah. to be like, hey, we're, we've got some answers. It's community Utilize based. us. It's, yeah. it's very community based. To network. Amongst yes. other like-minded yes. artists and yes. stuff. But also just like companies now, there a lot of people just sit behind desks versus mm -hmm. I'm on the street. I know these people. I know mm -hmm. the next person that you guys should be partnering right, with. Right. If, that should you know, help out, right? Like opening ceremony was looking for a female DJ. And I was like, oh, I got someone. Here you go. Toki? Here's to yeah, I, I actually referred her. But she's a, <laughs> she's, she's a, did you, ha did you have her on the show before? Well, she didn't respond. Aww. But you know what? I'm inspired you by you. You want me to text a picture no, of her? No, no, no. I'm inspired by you. I'm going to follow up with her. Yeah. Toki Monster. But you know you're what You're always happens? welcome on the Stevie Weeby show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I think a lot of times people are also busy too. Oh, yeah. You might be catching them at a time where... And yeah, then for that's me, why I don't trip. I'm not me, tripping. I'm, I'm like tripping. crossing the street and I check my phone because someone texts me and then I don't respond ever because I forgot. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Because you're in yeah, the middle yeah, yeah. of doing Especially all this stuff. Especially when they get to that level, they're like, she's probably doing like world tours yeah. or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's like, she's getting up but there I, with like yeah. Aoki and stuff. Like she's like really doing Yeah, but global. didn't you have Jeremy Lin on your show? No. No, where did you, where'd you get you from? Oh, I could have seen a saw no. some guy that looked like Jeremy Lin. I was like, wow, that's really cool. Bryce? Mm, that's a thing. Is there a guy that looks like him? Maybe someone from the JK crew? I don't know who that is. JK News? I don't know, yeah, but yeah. anyways. Okay, so okay, say what, say the the website one more time for the viewers. Uh, it's called weascend.nyc. Okay, do you have fun today? Because because we're we're wrapping up here. Oh, did you have fun? Did you have fun? Did this I have was, fun this on the easy. show? Yeah, this was easy. Yeah, this was fun. This, this was, was easy. easy. Yeah, this was like oh yeah, that was fun. Did you have shoot. fun? Oh yeah, this is look over an hour. Yeah. And it flew by. Anytime you need inspiration. And we're not, even, we're not done yet because oh, we have okay. packages oh, to okay. open. Okay. And I have, yeah, to do let's some, do that. I have to read off this thing. So I wanted to, this is the time where I wanted you to promote any upcoming art shows or projects like um, this or so your I, Instagram, your Facebook and all that good stuff. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my Instagram is E-S-Y-M-A-I. That really just came from like yeah. Where is that from? I, I was going to ask you about that. Where when that, where I was that in from? junior high, when I was back at home in New York, everyone would do like a little bit of graffiti or like you know, what's your tag name? What's mm -hmm. your nickname? And my friend came up with that for me, just SC because it's my initials SC, so mm -hmm. it kind of phonetically sounds like ESY, and then MAI is just I am backwards. So it's just I am Sophia Chang, and then you know that was my screen name yeah. for AIM. Do you write in New York? That too? was my. Do you write on the? Oh, walls? I'm not like those people. Oh. No, no, no. I was like for fun. Me, oh, I'm okay. like doodling. I yeah. almost got suspended. But oh, well, you didn't do it on the streets in New York. You didn't. I, I did here and there, but it wasn't anything. It's not like real graffiti oh, artist. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, gonna yeah, take yeah. that title. Uh, you yeah, know, yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna take on that title because go I wasn't that good. Yeah. <laughs> doing this stuff now. Yeah. Okay. So you're. So that's your Instagram. Yep. That's my Instagram. And then what about your Facebook? Uh, I don't really use that anymore. Twitter? I don't really tweet. It's just on Instagram. What about this awesome website you have? Same here? thing. The same so thing. That's my alias. A S. Nope. E S Y M A I dot com. You need Warby Parkers. We need to get I, you a pair of Warby Parkers. I, you know what? I failed. I went to the DMV a couple weeks ago and I did. I, do you need glasses? I do. I did well. I was like, I was breezing okay, by. You. Dude, I made an appointment. I was breezing by. And then the, the Philippines like, okay, time for your eye exam. And I and then I was like, I didn't have, I don't have glasses. I need glasses bad. 
Do and you drive? I embarrass myself. No, I don't. I don't even drive. My girl so, has a car, but I was, <laughs> dude, people in the DMV were like cracking up because I was like, uh, is that a Q? No, 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 no. Oh. Okay, we're going to get you some glasses. We're going to we're gonna get Warby Parker to give you some glasses. So Warby Parker, um, we, could use, and we could use sponsorship. Cause we both, my girl, like we just, I just bought her a pair of glasses at your store there on the on West Hollywood. Uh, I'm a holler at you. We could really use more sponsorship, and we will definitely uh, promote your eyeglass wear. Okay, and so um now at this time I have to. Uh, Sophia, it was a pleasure. We gotta do another part two, three, four. We Hi. gotta make her this I'm a regular. Here we gotta do a regular thing because she's so motivating, and I'm telling you, for. For people who want to get to that level, you could teach them so much. Oh, yeah. We can spitball anytime. Oh, yeah. So um, if you want to join, we have a Patreon for the show. Go to patreon.com slash Weeby. I added a new um, diary log series every Monday. Have you been checking that out, Bryce? Is that up on Monday? Yeah. It's, yeah, I just put it up on Monday where it's, it's specifically only for my patrons where it's like just like diary, just me talking specifically to them about what's going on in my mind. Um, with the show and the, the album that I'm recording. So go to Stevie Weeby, uh, patreon.com slash Stevie Weeby. Thanks for Christopher Bo- Boozygard and Yasim Jamal. Thanks for the kind words, brother. And thanks for buying my music at Stevie Weeby Bandcamp.com. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at uh, Q U A N G O U. If you want to send stuff to the show, we have a P.O. box. Please send it to the Stevie Weeby Show, 1425 North Cherokee Avenue, P.O. Box 1391, L.A., California, 90093. And with that being said, we like to, we have two so packages. So what's your Instagram mean? I know a lot of people have been asking, it, my, my Korean name is Kwang Woo. Oh, okay. So it's my Korean. Oh. That's why this was, um, and Awkward's asked about it too, right, last week. Um when I was with Mong Chi and a Money Mark, were like we're in Big Bear, he was like, "Dude, like he was asking, like, how do you say that name?" Yeah, I and, thought it was and, like and a then, Chinese thing. Yeah, I know, no, it is, it is a derivative. I think it is a city in China, Guang Guang Gao or whatever. But it's, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, really I know, bad Asians. I know. Um, <laughs> really it's bad really Asians. bad choice, really bad choice. But it's with me. But Why don't I changed change it, it to Stevie Weeby Show. It is, it is, it is changed to the Steve, well, I could change, well, some other, the fan account took it, the fan, there's an account that a fan took, I got, I got to take care of that, you're right, but yeah, it's, it's hard to, and you can get a blue check, I want a blue check, I thought you had one, how do you get verified, you have to like apply, I I would think that you you out of anyone would get it, well, first of all, it's slightly offensive, because you have to have like, uh, they need to be able to vet and make sure like, okay, this is a business that's existed for some time. And like, you know, you're not just some random person. Like if you look at my stuff, I've been doing this for like 10 years. Mm-hmm. Like it's around. I know. Let them know. Tell your, tell okay, your so, followers. Um, so Instagram, whoever if you works work at, at Instagram, Instagram or Facebook, Sophia Chang, I already, we already, if you, we already went down the gambit of all of the, I didn't even go through all of the work she's done. Mm-hmm. That was only like 35% of it. Yep. Go to our website and you will know she's one of a kind. She's on top of her game. She's wor- she's worked with Stussy, Reebok, Puma. It goes on and on. Complex Magazine. She's been on TEDx. She's, it just goes on and on and on. It just doesn't stop. You're hired. I got a new <laughs> PR guy. So Instagram. This if anyone a- at Instagram watches this episode, make sure you verify my girl here. She's got more than enough followers. What are you, almost up to 70,000? You're at 60. You have more than 50,000. I saw. You have more more than than 50. 50. She has more than 50,000. 50,000 followers. There's people with like 8,000, 5,000, and they're verified. (laughs) They're verified. Okay, so I have to guess what this is. You're going to open it. Okay, where is it from? Do we get to shake yeah, well, it? I, yeah, I'm not gonna. This whole scissors it. in hand situation is very frightening. This is from. I can't really <laughs> see this. Is it? Is it Row Team? Yeah. So shout out to Row Team. Row Team. Row Team. Ooh, maybe we shouldn't. We should hold the blade yeah. away from. Oh, there, <laughs> I think it's a shirt. So you're you're supposed to. Open Wait, okay. It. Let's. I think see. it's a. I think it's a shirt. There's a letter. I'll read the letter. Or, or Sophia, re- if you... Okay, if you read it while I open okay, it? Okay, yeah, I'll read it. 
Everyone over here at Rush Order loves your show. From what we've heard on your show and Tiger Belly thought this little stress relieving toy might be something you'd enjoy. And don't worry about breaking it. We've been smashing the ones we have in our office for a while. And none have broken so far. Hopefully we didn't just jinx, our, jinx ourselves. Looking forward to each and every one of your future episodes. All the best. The Rush Order team. What's well, Rush Order? I don't know. This is great, though. Okay, hold on. Minted is proud to deliver independent design to you. That's not very informative. You guys need to improve that. <laughs> oh, I so. could punch it. So, available on the App Store and Google Play. What? It's on a coaster. First of all, everything on your branding sucks. Oh, it's a... It's, um... It's the inner key on your... Com I could do that. Oh, I get what it is. Yeah, you could punch it. You Thank know you. What? Thank you, Rush Order. Yeah, but look at all of their postcards. Tell me what their business is. What's their business model? A uh, drink? It's, see, this is stuff you put drinks on. Uh, That's a coaster. A coaster, What yeah. is Rush Order? Uh, ooh, uh, I don't know. And this is why their branding is bad, because you have no idea what the company's about. Here, look at the rest of the box. Call me. <laughs> okay, so Rush Order, if you're watching, definitely... Um, Contact, reach out to Sophia. <laughs> They're going to think I'm so obnoxious. Tap, pay, and eat. Tap, pay. Oh, is it a, a food app? I think so, yeah. I think it's... Um, mm. And this is why. We'll look it Perfect up. Perfect example. No, we're, no, we're going to look it up. So, But thank you, Rush Order. Thank you. Oh, yeah. We so have this to be next nice thing to them, right? We is, have to be um, nice. Yeah, we have to be... Hell we have yeah, to be we have nice. to be nice. Wow, and thank I appreciate you so much it. for sending this. No, thank you. Rush order. I think it's um tap. Yeah, we'll look it up. It's an app store for Google Play. I think. Yeah, maybe we should cut that part. Yeah. Where I'm... Wow, this is great. <laughs> so, uh, so this one is from, um, Isra, Isra Sermino get... Hurt. Did you get a new uh... touch of bass? A touch of bass. So, oh my God, I'm looking forward to this. A this new thing's... TV thing. I, I have no idea. Uh, where did I put my scissors, Bryce? You know what? I have more right here. Here we go. That's a, a kindergarten Fiskars. Oh. I'm glad you don't have a box cutter. Yeah, I, we could use really use one of those for the yeah. Stevie Weeby show. So uh, I, I'm guessing I, I was. Well, I, I think it's a TV. I mean, I. Well, you have to it open would, it. It would boggle my brain if someone said a TV. Well, wait till so you see uh, what it is, because I got a um, sneak but, peek. But uh, I think it might be a musical instrument. It's so big. If we big. get him an exacto knife, please teach him how to cut it okay, away so I, from your body. I already said I thought it was a TV. <gasps> oh my! What's what that? The? Oh my, it's what a boom that? box. No, it's not. No, it's a paint. It's speakers, oh, dude. Oh, wait, 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 look, 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 look. Congratulations on your new touch of bass, the creatively actualized piece of audio art. We appreciate your purchase and from us to you, thank you. We hope this new addition to your life brings you as much joy as it, it has brought us in the creation of this unique slice of life. You are now cool, officially, sincerely, Isra and Chris, the touch of base A-team. So now we can get rid of that. No, I love that. I love so that. So now we, we can gotta... add that somewhere. So this is, can we get this on camera, dude? Yeah, let's see so... it. Pull it out. Let's take a look. Oh, wow, look, you can actually see the speakers. You should tear the oh plastic off. Oh, my God, this is crazy. All right, well, let's oh. be gentle. This is dope, thank you. Look at this thing, man. This is like some Run D LL Cool J's right here. Huh? Oh, sorry. So there you go. <laughs> this is this is cool. Uh, this is cool. I mean, I understand what this, this is. You could play music on it. Like yeah. these are real speakers. So it's like Bluetooth. You just put it on your wall. And I think you. I, I think, think it's, it's a Bluetooth. Bluetooth. 
Well, let's find it out what it is. This way we can promote yeah. it properly. So, oh my god. There's a mounting bracket that it comes with. All right, you guys need to upgrade your pamphlet because this whole situation is way too much. But I appreciate the large font. All right, so there's a main switch. It is aux. And there's Bluetooth. So there's aux and Bluetooth. So if you're a wireless person or wired person, that's really cool, though. That really is cool. And it's like a painting, but it actually plays. You can play music on it. Yeah. All right, let's make some room for the walls. Oh, my God, look at that. Like that's really cool. So with that being said, did you have fun on the Stevie Weeby show? I had a lot of yeah. fun. Yeah. Thank you for having me. We got to do part two, part three with her. Okay. Because she she could really motivate and, and inspire. So how these big is your consumer base? Or like, what's what's their age range like? Uh, it's Bryce. Young, it's mostly male, but we're it's, it's, it's mostly male. Huh? But you're probably gonna for this one's gonna there's gonna be What's probably. Better? We're 60,000 or so, so subs on YouTube right now. Mm -hmm. Instagram, we got... Mm -hmm. I forget the moment. It's no, the age age range. Age range, I think. It's like 15 to 25. Oh, cool. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's a mm -hmm. good age range. So you got to, you got to, you know, because you had some great advice and great pointers. Yeah. You know, we can even do a AMA or mm -hmm. uh, if they have questions that they can email to you. Oh. And then I can do the, we can answer it together. There yeah. you go. We're going to do live streams. Yeah, we're going to do live streams back on Twitch. Live streams going and do an AMA and things like that. Okay. That'd be fun. With that being yeah. said, join us next week. There's, Here, no, little, there's no little Ray this week. You want me to help you put it back? Put it in the...